Alright everyone, how's it going? This is Rexford here, and I'm back yet again, another gaming tutorial, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a custom name uh, system in your Game Maker games. Now, basically, for those of you wondering what the heck I mean by a custom name system, um, basically it's kind of like a custom name change system, I guess, is kind of a better word for it, and basically all that is, is um, it's kind of like some RPG games in which when you start up the game, you can kind of uh, set the name of your character, and throughout the game, um, whichever name you chose, or typed in, or whatever the heck uh, you want to call it, um, in the beginning will be used throughout the game. So that's basically what I'm showing you guys how to do today. And uh, this is really simple and really quick, so it's really awesome. And I can only hope this video will be just as quick as the tutorial, or I guess the example, or whatever. Um, but we'll see what happens, alright? So, let's go ahead and uh, begin. Alright, so as you can see, I already have everything already pre-made out for the purpose of uh, pacing in this video. I want to kind of get through this a bit quick, um, so I already went ahead and uh, created everything, but I'm going to go through uh, what everything does and what everything is, so don't worry about that. Um, let's start out with the sprite here. Um, this is a 32 by 32 sprite, and uh, you can do whatever the heck you want to do um, with your sprite. Um, this is just for an example, and um, yeah, I mean the only limitations are you just need to make it um, big or as small enough um, to be able to click on it as well as see it. So that's pretty much all that is going on there. Alright, and after that you want to go ahead and uh, simply make two objects using the sprite that I just went over. As you can see, I already have both of them made. Um, I'm going to go through the first one first and the second one second, as you guys probably had guessed. Um, and I just I'd say that anyway, just for the purpose of uh, saying it anyway. Nonetheless, we're going to go ahead and add event here on our first object. And uh, we're going to go mouse left pressed and we're going to head over to the control tab and uh, click and drag over and execute code action actually we're going to drag over two of them and then head over to the main one tab and click and drag over a change instance action and uh, it's going to be blank by default and look like this so we're just going to want to go ahead and leave it alone for a while all right. So what we're going to uh, what we're going to want to do, rather, sorry, is uh, we're going to want to go ahead and uh, go into our first um, execute code action and click and drag over the first code that you see in the description box of this video and paste it right on in here. Now, really quickly, as a little side note, um, YouTube is kind of weird about different symbols um, in coding and stuff. It's kind of picky about uh, what you use for the description. So if for some weird reason YouTube doesn't accept a symbol in this code here or in one of the other corresponding code that I'm going to be using in this tutorial. Um, I'll go ahead and copy all the codes, put it in a paste bin, and uh, put the link to that paste bin in the description so you guys can go ahead and check that out and uh, kind of just copy and paste all the codes from there. Um, but most likely all the codes in this tutorial should be correspondent with the uh, YouTube's description box kind of thingy. Um, so it should all work out there. Um, but anyway, just in case it doesn't, you guys know what to do. Alright, so what you're going to want to do here is simply just, as I said, copy and paste the first code in the description box inside this little code box here and what this is basically saying is we are setting our global dot name variable um, which is the variable that we're going to be using throughout the uh, game here or I guess in the example in my case and um, this is uh, rather this is going to stand I don't know what I was saying there uh, but this is going to stand for the name in which we're going to be able to type and uh, kind of use throughout the world here so this is basically what we're going to be uh, setting here and what is going to go on here is like when you um, First of all, when you left click on this uh, object here, there's going to be a little box that says, what is your name? And there's going to be another little place, uh, I guess, little um, section below that that says, please enter your name here. So to change these, because let's say we don't want it to say, what is your name? Let's say we want to say... Who are you? Question mark. All right, so that's fine. Everything checks out here. The only thing that you have to make sure to keep in here is this comma and these little quotation marks. Um, that's all you need to make sure that you keep. If you delete one of these, though, accidentally, let's say we accidentally went like this, as you can see, we'd get a little error and everything would go to crap. So we want to go ahead and put those back and just edit the text. Um, so as long as we just edit the text and keep these um, quotation marks as well as the little, uh, I guess, comma here, um, we're pretty much fine. All right, so let's go ahead and go to uh, the second. I was going to say go down to, or pff, I couldn't decide which one I wanted to say. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and go down to the second uh, little part of code here. And same thing, you just want to go ahead and go to the description box, copy and paste the second line of code, and uh, paste it right into here. And same thing, um, we're going to do the um, same thing we did right in here. Um, at least in terms of editing. If you want to edit this, you just have to make sure to keep the uh, quotation marks. 
over here and here and uh, you can just go ahead and change this to whatever you like but I'm gonna go ahead and keep it how it is for now um, just because I don't really feel like editing it currently alright now on to our change instance um, now we're gonna go ahead and before we do this um, go ahead if you haven't already create a new object using the same sprite that we are using for this current object and the one I talked about over here so I'll go ahead and wait for you alright are you done Awesome. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, go to this change instance object, or action rather here, and we're going to change instance into the newly created object, and perform events, yes, and for the uh, apply suit, just keep itself, going to go ahead and uh, keep it pretty original there, and hit OK. So that's all for our first object. Let's go ahead and uh, head right into our second object here. And again, same thing, add event, mouse, and left breast, control tab, click and drag over the execute code action. Very nice. And we're going to go ahead and do the same exact thing we did for the other parts of code in our last object. Uh, pretty much just copy and paste um, the code right into here. And same thing goes for editing, you know, if you want to do the same thing. This is actually the same exact uh, part of code. Um, actually, I don't think I'll put this in here because this is actually the same exact part of code that we used in here. So we can actually just copy and delete that there and paste. And it's the same exact thing. Alright, so that is all good. Now we want to go ahead and make a room if we haven't already, or rather if you haven't already. And go ahead and put the first object you created anywhere in the room. As you can see, I just put it in the middle. Just re-put it somewhere again. Alright, and that's it. That's all you need to do. But before I close this tutorial off, I just want to show you guys the end result of this tutorial, just so you guys can get a glimpse of how everything's supposed to work and stuff like that. So let me go or let me just go ahead. Uh, I was debating whether I want to say go ahead or whatever. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, kind of switch the recording region here. Um, just so you guys don't see all the backgrounds of my desktop and everything like that. And it'd be kind of distracting. So give me a minute here and I'll go ahead and switch to that. Just hold on. Alright, so we are back, and uh, as you can see, we're in a little room here, and we have a little object here, and uh, when we are left, click on here, what am I saying, um, it says, who are you, and please enter your name here. So I'm going to go ahead and enter Rex, short for Rex Furry, of course, and hit OK. Why, hello there, Rex. Why, hello there, game. Alright, so, hello there, Rex. Okay, yeah, that's because I accidentally clicked on it again after I clicked OK. Um, but nonetheless, it pretty much works how we want it to work. Everything checks out great. And when we go ahead and uh, click on it one more time, it says, why, hello there, Rex. And it will just keep repeating and repeating and repeating and repeating until we are satisfied, which I think I'm pretty much satisfied for now. I hope that uh, you guys are as well. And I hope this tutorial worked for you. And hope you guys enjoyed learning about this. This is a pretty cool thing, uh, kind of feature to add in your game. So I think it's pretty neat and uh, yeah so guys that is it uh, feel free to comment and rate on this video and maybe even subscribe to my channel for uh, some updates on future videos and such and uh, once again guys this has been Rex Furry and I will see you guys next video